I did a quick mock-up of how you would approach doing order management in, in AppSheet at a far more granular level. So to kind of take a look at the app that was made here, this allows, um, you know, a user or, you know, a customer to uh, choose, you know, enter, enter their email address, you know, or, you know, maybe a customer service rep adding a customer ID into a field here, and then add orders to an order, uh, basically selecting the item ID and quantity, and then continue to add multiple items uh, to that order and, and build that out. And then once saved, basically generating the order together with those multiple items with the ability then to manage the order as a whole to mark that as, you know, let's say shipped and progress it through multiple stages to where we're in the delivery stage and then ultimately have this marked as delivered and capturing a delivery photo for that order, uh, similar to Amazon does it um, and you get that picture in your email, you could, uh, you know, take a snap a delivery photo in the form and then um, submit that as well. So um, that's just a, you know, really sim simple example of how you can kind of build this multiple items out. And the way it works is if we were to look at the actual back end sheet here, we have four different tables uh, that would be used here, right? So you have your order table, which just keeps track of the order data itself, right? So the high level order data and um, delivery time status uh, and customer really. And then there's the order items. And this is basically tracking each of the items and what order they're associated with. And then there's the items table here, which actually has the metadata for each item that you add to the order. So if someone needs to add a new item, they can add it to this table and then the app will automatically pick up any additional items that are added and display them appropriately in the form itself. And then you have your customer data as well that you can you could have in here. So um, fairly straightforward with those four items. And then obviously adding them to your app and then relating those um, appropriate columns to create those relationships between those tables. So in um, the most important part of that, uh, creating those relationships is going to be between your order item table and your customer table. So for the order items itself, when you um, relate that item, you're creating a reference. Uh, you create a reference itself to the um, items table. Okay, so that that maintains that relationship to your master items table. So that drop down menu will al always be accurate and aligned with what's been entered into that master items table. And now for the order ID itself, when you're creating a you know, reference in general, you're creating it from the child table. So in this case, it's the order items table and you're creating a reference back to the, the parent table. So that would be in this case, the orders table. And then you need to take an additional step here. And this is enabling is a part of it, making sure that turns on. And what this enables when you turn that on is when you're in any form view in AppSheet, it gives you this ability to populate that form and add multiple items on that form. If you had turned that is a part of off, then you would not be able to add items and it wouldn't show up in the application. So that's key in doing that um, to make it show up in the forms of your app. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this, but wanted to really make a, a simple app that could be referenced to demonstrate these, uh, this concept of having an order with multiple items that are manageable in, in a way separate from the, the main order itself. Mm -hmm.